In this video, we will configure a new key performance indicator collection in NetCharts performance dashboards. We will configure sales data in a new KPI collection. After launching NCPD, we select the administration drop down box and click on KPI collections. On the Configure KPI Collections page, we click the green plus button. We select the Data Source Sales and the Data Entity Sales Orders. We will name our KPI Collection Sales. We will leave the Auto Generate box checked and click the Add button. There are four tabs of data to complete when configuring a KPI collection. Measures are the amounts that we will see in charts. Dimensions are data labels that we can chart along the x-axis. Filters are used to limit and or analyze the data returned in charts. Additional drill down fields are available to see additional detail of the source data in a chart. Each of these tabs has a similar layout. Available fields are the fields configured when we connected to the source data and the configured data sources and configured data entity steps. Selected items are the fields that will be available in charts as measures dimensions, filters, or additional drill down fields. Options are used for amount calculations and measures and field descriptions in other tabs. Because we left the auto generate data box checked when we added this new KPI collection, NCPD completed much of the configuration on these tabs for us. On the Measures tab, the amounts that NCPD automatically added are listed under Selected Items. NCPD automatically added the sum of invoice number and average of invoice number as measures which aren't needed. We will delete these measures by selecting each item and clicking the red minus button. We would like to have a count of invoices available to graph, however. To add this measure, we select Invoice Number under Available Fields. We select the function Count Of. We change the name to Count. And we click the Add button. We can also edit the description of any of the measures under the selected items. Next, we click the Dimensions tab. NCPD did a pretty good job of automatically identifying the dimensions that we may want to graph along the x-axis. We will edit a couple of the descriptions. Also, because our source data has a date field, we can add other date-related dimensions that will be available to graph along the x-axis. Under Available Fields, we select GL Posting Date. We select the function Month Name. 
we give it the name month and click the add button we will repeat this process to add years and quarters Now we can graph data based on month, year, or quarter, even though our source data does not have those fields present. This is a very powerful feature of NCPD. Next, we click the Filters tab. Again, NCPD did a pretty good job of automatically identifying the filters we may want to apply to our charts. We will edit a couple descriptions. Next, we click Additional Drill Down Fields, which appears complete. Finally, we click the Finish button, and now the Sales Key Performance Indicator Collection is available to be used as source data in any dashboard within NCPD.